Let's take a look at dividing by units of 10, so 10, 100, 1000, etc. If a number's got lots of zeros on the end, it's really easy. If you're dividing by 10 and there's a zero on the end, then just chop off a zero. So 23,000 divided by 10 is simply 2,300. With a number 14,526, there would be a decimal point here. 14,526 is the same as 14,526.0. And when we're dividing by 10, we're moving the decimal point one position to the left. So therefore the number is gonna be 14,526. If you're not sure which direction to move the decimal point, don't panic. It should be fairly obvious that if you're dividing by 10, you expect a smaller number, not a bigger number. So I'm sure if you accidentally move the decimal point to the right instead of the left, you'll realize you've got a bigger number, so you've gone in the wrong direction. 12 divided by 10, well 12 is 12.0, so divide by 10, move the decimal point in one position to the left, 1.2. When we're dividing by 100, if there's lots of zeros, we can just chop off two zeros. So 23,000 divided by 100, chop off two zeros, is 230. 14,526 rather is, uh, can also be written as 14,526.0. It's good to put the decimal point in because now we are gonna move it two positions to the left and that will give us 145.26. Similarly, 12 can be written as 12.0. But now, I'm, if I move it two positions, it might be a bit, little bit confusing. So we can always add some zeros to the left here. Um, and now I'm just gonna move that, again, two positions to the left because we're dividing by 100. Again, it's two because there's two zeros. So one, two. So zero, 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 point one, two, zero. And hopefully you can appreciate that these two zeros are not adding any value and neither is this the zero here. So we can just call that 0 0.12. Dividing by 1000, again, if there's lots of zeros on the end, um, we can just chop off three zeros if there are three zeros present. So 23,000 divided by 1000 is simply 23. With the number 14526, we can write that as 14526.0. And when we're dividing by 1000, because there are three zeros in 1000, we're gonna move that decimal point three positions and we're gonna move it to the left because we wanna make the number smaller because when you're dividing, you, you're making the number smaller. So one, two, three, the decimal point goes here, so 14.526. And 12 divided by 1000, again, it's quite a horrible one, this. We could write it as 12.0, but I'm gonna put some zeros in front just so that I can see where the decimal point will drop. Again, it's gonna move three positions, so one, two, three. So the answer is zero, 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 0 0.0120 and again we can get rid of these two zeros because they're not doing anything and that zero on the end can be omitted as well so the final answer is 0 0.012